I posted a video up in the week about my Evo 5 RS, which has just been caged. I wanted to explain exactly how this car fits in. I bought this car from Chris Timmins of C1R Racing in the winter of 2014. We decided to use it for a bit of sprinting in 2015 and I drove in the MLR Sprint Series. In fact, round one of that championship at Pembury was my first ever time on track. We had a good year, finished second overall in that championship. For 2016, C1R Racing kindly offered to support me. So we decided to run the car in two championships for the same year. We ran in the MLR Sprint Series once again in Class A and also in the Clubman Plus Class of the UK Time Attack Championship. We were lucky enough to win the Class A Sprint Championship overall for the year and we also finished second overall in the Time Attack Championship for that season as well. So all in all, 2016 was a really good year. Spec wise, the car's on a two litre engine, 80 series turbo, 560cc injectors and mapped by Lee 5 at Dynatech, running about 425 horsepower. All in all, it was a really good, solid, reliable package that was set up really, really well. At the end of 2016, I decided to strip the car down to a bare shell for a complete new build. I spent an awful lot of time on the shell, cutting off brackets and all the little bits and pieces of metal that I didn't think were necessary. And thanks to the help of Kenny Brooks, we managed to get the car down super light. At the beginning of 2017, I was approached by Luke Clayton and Team Formula Racing, who has offered the chance to drive this stunning Evo 9 GT for the 2017 Time Attack Championship. We enjoyed a fantastic year as a new team, and all the while the 5RS shell has been sat there in the background, progressing slowly. I've had the shell acid dip twice, and now, if you saw the last video, it's also got a complete custom T45 cage in as well. So what's the plan for the car? Well, I'm gonna build it in conjunction with Formula Racing and WK into what I can only really describe as an absolute dream build of a 5RS. Hope that helps to explain exactly how the 5RS fits in. I'll bring you another update really soon. Thanks for watching.